Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you how to make really neat tin crystals using stannous chloride and zinc. Check this out. All I'm using in a single displacement redox reaction is stannous chloride, also known as tin chloride, a strip of zinc, some sandpaper, 50 milliliters of distilled water, a flask, funnel, and filter paper. The first step is to create an aqueous solution of stannous chloride by adding eight grams of stannous chloride to 50 milliliters of distilled water and it'll get really cloudy like that and you're just gonna stir it in before putting it through your filter. Once you've dissolved your stannous chloride, go ahead and start pouring it through your filter to get rid of any particulates in the solution. This will take a while. The next step before you lower your zinc into your solution of stannous chloride is to sand off the oxide layers so that your zinc is exposed to the solution. So here's a close up of what some of those tin crystals look like after we took it out of solution. Unfortunately, a lot of them collapsed the minute I took it out of the stannous chloride solution, but here's a closer look for you. Here's our chemical equation for this awesome reaction. So we started out with an aqueous solution of stannous chloride. That's the SNCl2. Some people call this tin chloride because the Latin word for tin is stannum. And then we added a strip of zinc to that. So in single displacement, they trade places and your stannous chloride becomes zinc chloride, the ZNCl2. And of course, the crystals are tin crystals that form on the outside of the zinc. That's the oxidation reduction part of this reaction because zinc is higher on the activity series than tin the zinc is able to reduce the tin by giving up electrons until those tin crystals actually precipitate on the outside of the zinc well I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land and I'll see you next time